Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the spring boot theme leaf concept. So what is theme leaf? Theme leaf is a server side template engine that can process XML, HTML, etc. Theme leaf can, ac uh, can also access a class field, I mean Java class fields, message properties, uh, from i18 and messages files when i say i18 and then we talk about the internationalization right so to implement your web application in different language you will have a different uh, uh, i mean properties file right and uh, uh, using those properties file basically uh, our application can be implemented in different languages so we can be we can bind our class fields with HTML form elements using theme leaf. Uh, we can iterate Java or Java collections using theme leaf. Uh, we can perform form validation, uh, display i18 and message using theme leaf. Uh, we can also use CSS files within our theme leaf views. So these are the things we can achieve through theme leaf. Now, uh, how to integrate theme leaf with Spring Boot? To integrate a theme leaf with a Spring Boot, we need to use following a Spring Boot starter in our pom.xml. So you need to basically, so you need to add a starter dependency in your Spring Boot application. Group ID would be almost same art dot Spring Framework dot Boot, but artifact ID will get changed. So uh, Boot starter project for theme leaf uh, artifact ID is a spring boot starter theme leaf so once you add this dependency in your pom.xml then uh, jars which is related to the uh, theme leaf that will be downloaded from the central repository and that will be added in your uh, project class path if you want to use a higher version of theme leaf then we need to configure the following property in pom.xml so if you add only dependency theme leaf dependency in your project uh, spring boot project then the, that might uh, that, that might download I mean older version of your theme leaf jars so if you want the latest jar to be downloaded and added in your class path then you need to add a theme leaf version as well as theme leaf layout dialect version uh, in your properties tag in your uh, pom.xml like this theme leaf version 3.0.6 dot release and theme leaf uh, layout dialect version 2.2.2 something like this so then in that case latest version uh, that is our uh, theme leaf 3 will be downloaded and added in your class path and corresponding latest version of dialect version also will be loaded now uh, if a spring boot scans theme leaf directory in uh, its class path then we are ready to work with theme leaf right so once you add this dependency and these properties related to the latest version then once uh, a spring boot will start scanning then that will find this library on the class path so most of the properties related to the theme leaf will be automatically set right so a spring boot provides properties for theme leaf that will be configured in application dot properties or if you are using yaml file right instead of properties file then those property you can uh, write in the application dot yaml to change the configuration of theme leaf with a spring boot uh, we are just i'm going to i have listed some uh, important property which is related to the uh, theme leaf in this slide like uh, spring dot theme leaf mode uh, that is the template mode that will be applied on the templates default is html5 next property we have a like a spring dot theme leaf dot prefix uh, this is the value that will be prepended with the view name to build the url Default value is class path uh, colon slash template. So all theme leaf files uh, with extension HTML will create in the templates uh, directory, right? So if you have a project, then you have a template, and here we are going to create a theme leaf file with extension dot HTML, right? Uh, now next property we can uh, specify a spring dot theme leaf dot suffix this is the value that will be uh, appended with the view name to build the url 
default value is x uh, is dot html so default value of uh, x, uh, uh, i mean extension of uh, theme leaf is dot html if you want uh, extension should be something else then you can specify over here and uh, right so with the default uh, spring boot and theme leaf configuration we can keep our theme leaf files with uh, html extension uh, at following location right so as i said uh, in src main c sources we have a templates folder in there we can create a html and we can uh, we can dump in the templates directory uh, right and that is our uh, basically html file and we uh, will use i mean some plugin right some plugin to use uh, theme leaf right so in header section we will have to specify something is called xml namespace to use xml colon th and this url you need to specify which is pointed to the theme leaf uh, website right and then you are ready to use the theme leaf related tags using this th right so if you see in this uh, here lot of tag you can see ts dot if ts dot class lot of things i have used so this example will explore in the next video uh, in this video we are just going through the theoretical concept about the theme leaf now uh, creating form using theme leaf suppose we have a methods in mbc controller class so suppose we have a method uh, we have a controller class uh, is called user controller and that is annotated as at the rate controller uh, which serves the purpose of the uh, controller right so once you mark this class as at rate controller means this class works as a controller and in class level we have given the request mapping slash user right and uh, inside this class we are we are just auto wiring our service class user service and we have a one request handler method is called create user view and uh, we have used get mapping right so get mapping is the one of the annotation which is used for the uh, which is used to handle the get request uh, instead of at, re at get mapping you can use request mapping as well in that case you need to specify the http method explicitly if you do not specify a static method explicitly then get would be the default one so uh, uh, uri of create user view would be slash user slash create user right now inside this this method we have created a object of model and view and model and view just we are adding the empty object of user new uh, i mean user user object right empty uh, empty object the user we have added and finally uh, we are adding all files and we are just calling the get profile method which will be the private method inside this controller which is uh, not written over here right so when you call uh, if you, you call uh, if you hit url like http colon 9090 slash uh, user slash uh, 9090 is the port number of uh, your uh, embedded tomcat uh, user so http colon localhost 9090 slash user slash create user then here you can see while creating the model and view we have given that this logical view of uh, logical view name of uh, our uh, theme leaf that is create create user right so create user dot html will be forwarded to the client right so now uh, rest of the code is uh, not written in this slide so that we will see explicitly so here i have written the explanation uh, when we access slash user slash create user url the theme leaf file named as create user dot html right so here basically we specify the uh, logical name of the theme leaf dot html uh, the suffix will be added by the spring boot itself so create user dot html will be open and there will be uh, there will be create form to the to a create user so now uh, look into the code snippet given below so here we have written some code like uh, some like model and view dot add object right here we have added a empty object uh, empty user object to model and view and uh, basically this is signifying that our form is binded with the user object so the attribute name user will be used in the form with uh, theme leaf th colon object attributes so once you add model uh, i mean user object empty user object in model and view then 
while creating the form right form form equal to hash you will have to write and th colon action equal to you will have to specify your uh, uri slash user slash create user and that is starts from the at rate right and th colon object will have to specify this user right and you need to specify the method name right so how basically you create a html form in uh, uh, in pure html but here we are creating the form with uh, uh, theme leaf right so this is the way to create the form now th color action is assigned with the action url right and that will be called on the on form submission uh, on form submit the url slash user slash uh, create user will access following method in controller class right which we have already discussed about right no 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 this is the new uh, method which will be called when user clicks on the submit button right and that method should available with the url slash user slash create with method as post so that's the reason here we are using post mapping with url pattern create user so complete uri of this method slash user slash create user with post method so once will user will submit this form then this method is gonna call and here this method takes two argument user as well as uh, binding results so we'll talk about what is why we have annotated user at the rate valid and all now theme leaf form elements now we can create some form elements suppose we have a class that has the field corresponding to the form elements right so we have a model class and uh, this contains this field like user id user name gender married and profile and this uh, fields are binded with the r form you create user dot html form now data binding with uh, form elements such as input select is achieved by the theme leaf uh, th colon field attribute right so th these fields will have to bind with the your html form right so suppose we want to create an input text box to get user id the field user id of the user class will be bound to input text box using theme lib th colon field as given below right so whenever user enter in this text any user enters any value then we have to bind this value with the this model class right once user submit then we'll have to use tx colon field equals to a star and curly bracket you will have to specify the field name so similar concept is applied for the rest of the fields so if you if you want to uh, bind i mean username then again input type equal to text and th colon field equal to a star username and this should be case sensitive similar concept apply for the uh, if you want to collect some kind of radio button then input type equal to radio th colon field equal to a star and this gender right and value will have to specify which you want to uh, populate in this gender field right and similarly for female and if you have a checkbox like married is here boolean value so you will have to apply with you will have to uh, design that checkbox input type equal to checkbox and th colon field equal to a star married something like this now how to design the select elements like in profile uh, we have to select uh, some profile in drop down right so to design us drop down you will have to write select th colon field equal to start profile because this profile right where you want to bind the value and option you will have to write th colon each equal to profile uh, colon you will have to write all profiles so this list will come from the java which we are we have added in the model and view and th colon value equal to this value which we are selecting from the drop down and th colon text equal to dollar profile right and here is the explanation you can see theme lift th colon each will iterate the collection theme lift th colon value attribute assign so here you can see the explanation and uh, uh, this this uh, method will be available in our controller class right Now here, if you want to display the data in the uh, tabular form, then you, you can use a th, uh, th column each and user column. This all users, this list will come from the uh, your controller class. And 
here you can access using this variable user dot user i user id user dot user name you can display